Hey girl, hey, it's me, Amber D, and thank you so much for coming through for another video. If you haven't already, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, girl, so it is Friday, and it has been a very interesting week, but a very good week, or at least it ended really good. I had a really, really, really good day today. I got some really, really, really good news that I will share with you later, but um, I wanted to give you an update on the fragrance situation. If you saw my last vlog, then you know um, I had an Amazon haul where I um, I got the Casablanca fragrance. It's um, a Swiss Arabian vanilla fragrance, and I really, really, really liked it. But as I sprayed it on and kind of sat with it on myself, I didn't like it as much as I did when I just sprayed it. So it didn't really mix the best, or at least in my opinion, it didn't mix the best with my own natural pheromones, like my own chemistry. I didn't really like the two together. So I decided to give that one away. Uh, and we were actually at Walmart today. And you know, we've been getting out of like our weekly Walmart runs, especially we haven't been inside of Walmart week on a weekly basis in a long time. Uh, we normally just do our, our every other week um, curbside order from Walmart. And we'll just run in there every now and again when we need something. And we was in there today getting some a couple things that we needed. Um, and then I remember while we were there that Walmart um, has the... Um, dossier fragrances now. You know, dossier has like a dupe of everybody. So we went over and smelled on a few things and we each found a fragrance that we like. You know, we love fragrance. And my husband has 101 fragrances and now he has 102. Um, the one that he got, um, this is a dossier aquatic lime. It's inspired by Armani's Aqua di Gio. And it has um, lime, jasmine, and marine notes. Um, and it's it's actually it's actually really really good. It has a twelve percent concentration, and it I mean we smelled about three to four of the male scents, and there was a couple of them that were pretty good, but this one, in our opinion, was by far the best. It has um, I think as far as my husband like male um, fragrances that we like, um, most of them have jasmine in it, so. I wasn't surprised when I saw that this one had jasmine in. And then the one that I chose for myself, again, we smelled about three or four fragrances. And I decided on the Fruity Almond, which is inspired by Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. And I think, I don't know if I smelled the original, but I know I've smelled at least one of the Good Girls. Because I know they there's at least the two or three different um, iterations of it. Um, and I, I believe this is the original and I really, really like it. You know, the Casablanca fragrance is supposed to be like my nighttime fragrance when I spray on at night, you know, after I get out of the shower, like I said, I want my robes and the sheets and everything to smell like it. And I think this is going to be the perfect fragrance as long as it smells good on me, of course. Um, so it has, um, the top notes are almond and peach. The middle notes are orange, orange, orange blossom and tuberose. And the base notes are tonka bean, vanilla, and cocoa. And I really, really like that. It's a, it's just like the Casablanca fragrance. I said it was, you know, it's very subtle. It's not a very upfront in your face fragrance. It's very subtle, but it's definitely there. I mean, it, it comes across and it's very feminine. To me, it's a very feminine, girly fragrance, which again, I like. I like it a lot. Um, I like that the top kind of, it has like a little magnet on it. And it just kind of closes by itself. Why that's fun to me, I don't know. But this is a really, really, really good fragrance. I like it a lot. Um, I'm going to try it tonight after I get out of the shower. Because I already have fragrance on right now. So I'm going to try it tonight after I get out of the shower. And I'll let you know tomorrow morning if I'm still loving it. All right, girl. So we're going to try this again. <laughs> This is the fragrance. This is my fragrance tray. Um, I feel like it looks cuter over here. Um, it's, I mean, the other bottle was, it was so tall. It was like way up here taller than my other fragrances. So it's cute over here. It matches everything. But obviously what's most important is that I like it on me after it's been sitting, you know, after you know, it mixes with my own natural pheromones, my own chemistry, make sure I still love it as much as I do now. So again, I'll let you know tomorrow morning after it's been sitting with me all night.
All right, girl, it is Saturday and I'm up and just about to head out. Um, got a few things on today's agenda. First up is my laser hair removal appointment. I'm about to head out for that. Um, you know, it's a bit of a drive for me. Um, so I'm about to get on the road. So um, I'm not late. And then I know I do need to stop by Dollar Tree. I'm not sure if I'm going to go by there right after I get back from my laser hair appointment or after because after like for lunch today i'm gonna come back home oh well, after my appointment i'm gonna come back home meet up with husband and we're gonna go to lunch and i think we have like another stop or two to make so i may just go to dollar tree and get that out the way but we'll see um but i am still absolutely loving my dossier fragrance the fruity almond um yes this is gonna be my nighttime fragrance but since it's new i'm just gonna wear it this whole weekend and then going forward it'll be my just my nighttime fragrance but i really really like it i like it on me um like i said it's not it's not a super bold fragrance but it is there and it does last like i still smelled it on my pajamas when i got up this morning like even after being you know sleep all night in my sheets and everything i didn't really smell it so much on myself but i did still still smell it on my on my clothes on my pajamas when i woke up so i do like that but yeah let's do a full fit check so i can head out so i'm not late all right, got my purple sneakers, my distressed boyfriend jeans, and my Scooby-Doo shirt with Shaggy and Scooby. <laughs> Looking high as hell. They so cute. I love Scooby-Doo, girl. And then I also have my mustard bucket bag, and I put on my, my headband that I just got from my Amazon haul um, last week. This is like the tannish one. It's like a, a taupey color. I really, really like it. I think it's cute with my Scooby shirt. Um, and yeah, that's today's fit. I got my rose gold mindset collection watch and then uh, my regular um, bracelet. And then I did, of course, on my regular earrings, my bamboo hoops. And that's about it. Um, fully makeup free since we are going to a laser appointment. And let's go ahead and go again so I don't be late. All right, girl. So just wrapped up my appointment. Everything went really good. Scheduled my next appointment for six weeks. So um, last time when I just did the chin and not like my full face, I was, um, and I saw like the hair grow, started to grow back a little bit. This time I got full face and I was like, I think I'm just gonna stick to full face. But I think I am gonna go ahead and alternate between chin and full face every six weeks. I mean, if I get to my next appointment and I feel like I need to do my full face and not just my chin, then I will. But for right now, I think I am gonna go ahead and stick to alternating between chin and full face. And so next time I did just the chin and just my underarms. I didn't schedule my happy trail. So I think I'm just gonna alternate on that as well. Um, I probably should have did it the next time and then not do the hat well i don't know we'll see but <laughs> um for now um i just scheduled my next appointment for um just the chin and the underarms and we'll go from there but i was so worried about getting here late i actually got um my appointment was at 10 10 i was parking at 10 11 and walking in by 10 12 and that's literally the latest i have ever been in the whole time i've been coming here which is almost two years so they didn't say anything and i actually still had to wait a few minutes before she called me back anyway but everything worked out good but i'm gonna go ahead and head back to the house 
Um, or I think I will go ahead and stop in Dollar Tree because I, I just need to pick up one thing or at least look for one thing. Make sure, um, and I, I can go ahead and look for that, check it off the list, head back to the house and then wait for husband and we'll go to lunch. Alright guys, so I just made it back to the house from um, my laser appointment and from Dollar Tree. I did go ahead and pop in the Dollar Tree. Unfortunately, I didn't find what I was looking for. Um, ultimately, what I was looking for is just something to go over on our little um, wine cart area. A couple of vlogs ago, I did a little DIY of a, um, a wine cork holder to sit on top of our our wine cart and then there's this little thankful sign that we have that we were gifted from my brother-in-law um and I want something to I wanted to sit it on something to kind of give it some height and I was looking for like a box or something um from Dollar Tree um I didn't find exactly what I was looking for I think I'm gonna look around a little bit more for like some type of gift box um I know they exist. I'm just hoping I can find it in store somewhere before I start looking for it online. Because if I do have to look for it online, I think I'm going to go with like um, maybe like a, a bartender book or like a coffee table type book or something to sit it on. Um, but if I can find like a cute little box, like a little black box um, to sit it on just to give it like three inches, three, maybe four inches. Um, but anyway, I didn't find it. So I'll keep looking. But right now, uh, I'm just about to throw on just a little bit of makeup just like a little something like less than what i normally wear especially since i just have my laser today so just a little something um before her husband gets home and then we'll head to lunch this construction this traffic i didn't even know if it was something going on downtown because it was just so it was like so much traffic mm. toll roads 28 minutes no toll road it's actually 10 minutes 38 minutes Quarter mile, use the right lane to take the US 79 south ramp to Round Rock. Cleanse it and make it nourishment for our body. Jesus name we pray. Amen. Looks like I do see some extra pickles. Uh, I don't see no bacon. Is it saying on the receipt? The shit costs thirty dollars to pay for bacon. Tell them all you. Yeah, I mean, we can put it on our stuff. They just give us the bacon. Get it, dude.
Der Bacon, der Lassen. You went to Five Guys. That was actually our very first time, both of us, ever, ever trying Five Guys. And it was all right. It was it was all right. It was good, not great. I love a good burger. I love me a good, greasy, cheesy bacon burger. And it was good. <laughs> um, they forgot our bacon, so we had to ask for that, which they did give us. And I, I guess they gave us like a little bit extra what they would normally put. Since they forgot it, we had to put it on ourselves. Um, but overall, the burger the burger was good. The burger was pretty good. Um, the fries were so so. They was all right. Uh, we got the Cajun fries with the this just their regular fries with Cajun seasoning. Um, overall, I would probably give it maybe like a six out of ten. I mean, the burger was pretty good. Like I said, the fries were so so. But mainly, what in my opinion, what would make it a six out of ten is the price. It was grossly overpriced we paid 31 dollars and some change for two burgers one fry and one drink like we didn't even get two separate combos we got two burgers two of the single patty burgers the little ones one fry and one drink 31 dollars for some so-so burgers and some so-so fries no ma'am five guys y'all was good as far as burgers go but we will not be back on a regular basis but anyway i don't know if you can hear how's bay scratching this Grab that you want, baby. No. You didn't watch us become Jack Popman. And I yes, I do say us. Even though he was scratching it. <laughs> but anyway, um, yesterday husband made some fruit infused waters. He made this one is strawberry with pineapples and mint. And then this one is strawberry with lemon and mint. Now uh, he's about to take their fruit out. So he'll just have the water and we'll taste them and see how good they are. <laughs> All right, girl. So this is the this is the strawberry lemonade mint, yeah. right? Okay, clink, clink, clink. Let's see. Did you taste any of them? I don't, I don't really taste mint. You know, taste the, the lemon, I the taste strawberry. The lemon. I taste the strawberry. This is the one that had more or less right. mint. This one had more, more mint? mint? Yeah. It's good. I like it. 
I don't taste it's I don't taste man. And you had a lot. I was like, that's gonna be a lot of mint. Yeah. Um you made sure to like mash it up some. Because you know when they With make the, the mojitos, they they kind of crush the mint mm-hmm. a little bit, I think, okay. to release the flavor. Not bad though. Okay, come on. <laughs> Well, all right, girl. And that's it for me. I'm gonna go ahead and finish drinking my water. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. If you haven't already, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Mm-hmm.